Hi, welcome. In this tutorial, we will learn how to select by attributes in ArcGIS Pro. Our map scene is showing militarized dispute locations across the world. So the red points are the militarized dispute locations. And what you want to do now is to select or make a subset of the militarized locations across the world within a specific period of time. So if you look at the attribute table, we have the year starting from 1816 and uh, it's ending in 2010. So now we want to use a particular year to see how many locations do we have in that particular year. And for our purposes, we are going to use 2005. 2005 so to do that we use what we call select by attributes and if you are in your map uh, from here and you go to select selection you see select select by attributes select by location and what we are going to use is select by attributes so you click on it and it opens the select layer by attributes pane for you and then we choose so our layer is the mid lock two. And what do we want to do? If you open it, you see a lot of options. But what you want to do is to make a new selection. So we select that one. And here we tell the system what to do. So we are going to add a clause. And you press on add a clause. So our field is what we are interested in. So which field are we going to use? And our field is supposed to be the year. So we click on year. And our year is equal to which year. So if you click here, you see the list of the years. All to the down. And since we are going to use 2005, we just click 2005 and we add our clause. And then we have here. So year is equal to 2005. And then we run this. Our run is completed and if we come back to our attribute table, we can see 39 items has been selected out of 2,292. So if you just show only selected, then we have it here. So now we are going to save this as a new shape file. So to do that, you come back to the mid lock in the content pane, you right click, you go to data and then you export features. So this will open the copy features processing pane for you and then you just set the parameters. Okay, so from here, input feature features is the mid block two, And then the output, so we want to save it in a new way. So then you go to here, browse to where you want to save it and you give it a name. So you want to save it here. So then we select uh, midlock and make it midlock underscore 2005 just to differentiate between the year. Then you click on save and you run. So our request was completed successfully. So you can just close this and it has been added to our contact pane. So if we come back to, let's close this one too. So if we come here and open our attribute table, we can see that we have only the 39 items. And this is a subset of the previous mid lock. So this is how you'll be able to make selection by attributes. So thank you for watching. See you in the next video.